And just for a few minutes, we want you to ask of the Almighty God what you will want Him to do. Unto you, in this new year that you're entering into, before we join our faith with yours. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for these children of yours who are standing, celebrating their birthday this month of March. Lord, we thank you for the days each and every one of them were giving birth to. Father, Lord, we thank you for sustaining their lives even unto this moment. Lord, we thank you for giving them another opportunity to celebrate this year. Lord, we join our faith with theirs, Heavenly Father, that this year shall be their best so far in every ramifications of life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Just even as we have spoken earlier about talent and gift, for as many as are yet to discover their gift, my Father and my God, I pray, this year you will open their eyes of understanding, in the mighty name of Jesus. And the grace to walk fully in it, Lord, you will release unto them, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray you will sustain them, you will keep them, Lord, that which is dear to their hearts that they are still trusting and believing in you for. Lord, this year, let it be fulfilled in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, into your hands we commit them. And under your everlasting arms, Heavenly Father, we release them. In their going, in their coming, let it be well with them. Lord, we pray, Heavenly Father, they will live to celebrate many, many more years. If you tarry in your second coming, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, those years, they will not spend it in lack. They will not spend it in sickness. Lord, they will se se spend those years, Heavenly Father, in the abundance of the full measure of your grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, into a new level of grace we release them, Heavenly Father. Let it be well with them. Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The rest of us, can we rise? Even as we bring the service to a close, let's have a closing prayer. Please don't let us forget Wednesday. Lighthouse continues on Wednesday, and for those of us who do not belong to one, you can go on our website and you will see the one that is closer to you, or you can call the church office for that. Let's bow down our heads, and for each and every one of us who want us to pray, ask the Almighty God for something unique, that which they said is impossible. Ask, stretch your faith this month. Ask of the Lord this morning, I mean this afternoon. That which is there to your heart. That child that you are still believing in God for is still possible this year. If you conceive this month, that child will still be giving birth to this year. That which God, Almighty God has set, the blessing that he has set for 2017, pray that it will not elude you. Ask of him. He said with men, some things may be impossible, but with God, all things are possible. To them that believe, Stretch your faith. Ask of the Almighty God. And that which you are praying about today, you will come back in April to testify and to give thanks for. Ask him. Stretch your faith. And so, our Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you for a wonderful time in your presence. Lord, we thank you for the joy that we have experienced in your presence today, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we pray that even as we are bringing the service to a close to go to our different homes, let this joy never cease in our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, reasons to always give thanks, let it never elude us. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, just even as we spoke about Esther, that she receive favor from you. My Father and my God, a new level of favor we release unto your children in the mighty name of Jesus. As many as are trusting in you this month to be gainfully employed, Lord, let your favor rest upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. As many as are trusting in you this year to have their own children, Lord, as we are speaking it this month, their conception shall happen in the mighty name of Jesus. As many as are trusting in you for healing in their physical body, my Lord and my God, I pray you will minister to their needs. As many, Heavenly Father, are disturbed emotionally, 
My Father, my God, I pray, the peace that supersedes all human understanding, let it be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, even as we all differ, Lord, we know our needs, our desires. So are they. Lord, we know one thing with you, you can meet all needs. My Lord and my God, whatever the needs may be in the lives of your children that they have brought before you this afternoon, Lord, when they come back in April, let them come with testimonies. Let them come with thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, in their going in their coming, let it be well with them. My Father, my God, no evil shall come near any one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every appointment of death we cancel and we nullify by the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that this time next month we usher us into the Biazo month. My Father and my God, we have planned, we have put together. Let your grace rest upon Biazo 2017. In the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, I pray the blessing of this season, Heavenly Father. Let it never cease in each of our lives. Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father. In the going of your children, in the coming, Lord, we seize every form of accident from them in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, even as they have asked of you today, Heavenly Father, they have stretched their faith. They have trusted in you. And your word assures us that those that put their trust in you shall not be put to shame. Lord, none of your children shall be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We honor you and we glorify your holy name. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. It shall be a wonderful month unto you.